Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DEJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, if you just joined us, we're talking. Who have you been mistaken or confused for? By now, white, sh- by, by white people. It's very important that we note that because this comes out of a donkey of the day. I gave donkey of the day to this guy, Michael Donaldson, who confused Byron Leftwich, offensive coordinator for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, with the defensive coordinator for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Todd Bowles, who is also black. Mm. This is something right. white people do all the time. I've seen white people confuse DJ Envy for Young M.A. That's just disrespectful <laughs> on a million different <laughs> levels. Okay. And I they remember people have, have had mistaken, like they have mistaken Charlemagne for a Nelson Ellis from True Blood. He played Lafayette. Never. It's always, it's all I ever get is when I'm walking through airports sometimes. It's like if, if they don't know who I am, they be like, yo, when y'all doing another best man? You know what I'm saying? No, that's like, not I really true. love the best man. That's you know true. what I mean? People said Morris, uh, they said, one person said Morris Chestnut, I would have to say, but most people say Joe. No, they no, say no, they, no, they no, mistake no, you for no, Joe. No, no, and yeah. also Joe, DMX. Shh, shh. You DMX. Just, I have seen, just, I have seen, seen people call Charlemagne um, Morris Walnut. Listen, whatever makes them feel good about mistaking me for Ricky <laughs> from Boys in the Hood, you know what I'm saying? I take it as a compliment that Morris Chestnut, uh, people say he looks like me. That's a compliment. To me. And there was this meme that used to go around and people used to always send it to me like, is this Charlemagne? It was like a porn thing and this guy was on his knees naked. Yeah, I, I get that. I tell everybody, yeah, that was him. That's, yeah, that's, I'm like, yeah, that's, he's wild that's, boy. That's <laughs> never happened. The only time I've ever dropped to my knees is when uh, that, red Honda, that red Honda pulled up <laughs> and shot me in the chest and I fell to my knees first before I landed <laughs> on the ground. Okay? This is getting kinky. What about you, Yee? I told you, people used to always uh, get me mistaken for Miss Info, and she would tell me that too, that they would call her Angela Yee, and I think it's just the Asian Ex- thing. Explain like, to my the last people who Miss Info is. Miss Info is a radio personality. She has her own blog, and she was on the radio in New York for a while. Yes. I did mornings with uh, Miss Info when I was on the other station with Miss Jones, and she also owns a, a, a sneaker store as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. She might have sold it, but I'm not sure. But anyway, let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? What's going on? This is Hot Taco from Brooklyn. Who did they mistake you for? So, oh, man, this, this one hockey boxer-looking Spanish dude. He mistake me for some dude that was cheating with his wife. So he came home. He did a couple joints. He lived around my area. So I'm chilling. I'm by the store. I'm waiting for a breakfast sandwich. So this dude will come up to me, walk up to me like, yo, you sure? You sure? You sure? You ain't telling me? So I'm looking at him like, nah, I can't be, bro. I, I just moved over here. I'm in Brooklyn at that. So nah, that was, that was you. That that was you. But when that dude came home and you saw how big he was, you ain't want to be him no more. Let me tell you, I ain't finished. He FaceTime, you know, he FaceTime the girl while he was next to me. And she played dumb. She, I don't know him. She was like, I'm telling you, it's not him. I'm telling you, you gotta stop acting so crazy over me. I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta chill out, bro. Tell the truth, like, King. I'm sorry, bro. King, 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 King. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. You were smashing this show, he wasn't. You? Come on. Charlamagne, I wasn't. She was a nice look, but I'm telling you, I wasn't. I never a nice met look. <laughs> a nice look. <laughs> Goodbye, right. brother. All right. <laughs> Hello, who's this? What's this your name? Chantel. Chantel. Hey, Chantel. Now, we're asking, Hi. who have you been mistaken Hi, for? Carla? Peace. How are you? I'm good. Yourself? I am blessed, black, and highly favored, queen. Good. So, I always get, well, not always, but I got confused as um, the lady from The View, Jerry Shepard. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why you say it like that? Uh, you know, I was yeah, what was that for? My aunt, eating a slice of pizza. She kept staring at me, and I'm like, why is she staring at me? She came up to me. She was like, you're beautiful. You remind me of Sherry, Cheryl Shepard or whatever her name is. And I'm like, really? We look nothing mm-hmm. alike. Like, I want you to look up my IG. Somebody, please, you let me know. All right, what's your IG? Well, you know what? They used to re- um, they used to confuse Charlemagne for Sherry Shepard too, because he had her glasses on in a picture. <laughs> no, I looked like a Y'all different gotta auntie. Stop coming for Charlemagne. Why? <laughs> That's right. Who? T- tell him who I look like, baby. Tell him the truth now. <laughs> you look like you. That's who you look like. There you go. That's right. No, you don't. <laughs> the biggest insult. But listen, you look at my IG and you tell me. Like, what's, what's your IG? Like, what's, your, mean- what's your Instagram, baby? Let me tell you. I tell you. You know, I'm gonna be it's, honest with you. <laughs> it's H I P P I E. Hold on. H-I-P-P-I-E. Hippie, Charlamagne. Hippie, Hippie, damn it. Go ahead. Hippie heart, H-E-A-R-T. H-I-P-P. Hippie heart what? Hippie at heart X-O. Hippie at heart X-O. You can put an at. Yes, hippie. H-I-P-P-I. You can can spell at, Envy. It's not just a symbol. My bad. Hold on. I can't spell now. H-I-P-P-I. Charlamagne. I I found it. it. I I found it. I found it. I want to see it. How you? Let me see. 
I'll send it to you. You and Sherry Shepard don't look nothing alike. That's yeah, y'all don't look alike. Tell you though, we're totally different complexions. She's beautiful, but that just goes to show you that the men don't care. Like they literally compare you. Like they literally you don't look like no other, like, damn Sherry sure. Shepard. Sure. Nothing alike. Like zero. Now, hippie at heart. I see your friends with DJ whatever. Oh yes. <laughs> And the reason I said, <laughs> listen, oh, oh, whatever, oh, oh, no, 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 whatever no, hit, no. whatever, he whatever, like every, he like listen. every picture. The reason I said, no, whoa, I'm engaged. Angela, stop. Don't do that. The reason I said, whoa, when he said that they confuse you with Sherry Shepard, because Sherry Shepard was on The View. So that's a very white watched show. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably right, their right. go to when it comes to black people. Sherry I would have took Queen Latifah before. You don't yeah, look like Queen Latifah. Nah, you ain't got Queen Latifah either. Really? I mean, more than her. I mean, you know, we got definitely more than Sherry Shepard. Yeah. Pretty, you're, you're a very pretty woman, Man, Hippie at Heart. You don't look oh, like Queen Latifah. I don't see Queen Latifah. Yeah, either. I don't see Queen Latifah either. You are a very pretty young lady, but I don't see Queen Latifah or Sherry Shepard. What's you know who she kind of reminds me of a little bit? Um, Lyris Cross. Lyris. She, mm. She's a model. Mm hmm. All right. Well, 800-585-1051. Who do people mistaken you for? Call us up now. It's The Breakfast Club. Who have you been mistaken of before? Now, uh, Charlemagne, is, of course, said Joe. He also said DMF. No, 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 they, no, no. They always no, say Joe no. Button and Corey Boozer. I get uh, mistaken. Carlos, Carlos Boozer. Oh, Carlos Boozer. I said Corey Boozer. You're thinking Corey Booker. Exactly. See, now you sound Booker. like one of these goddamn colonizers confusing black people for black people. <laughs> Okay, I get mistaken for Morris Chestnut all the time. Everybody knows that. You no, know what that's I mean? not true. I get Barack Obama all the time. You don't get Barack what? Obama. You get Young M.A. Stop it. I do get Young M.A. too. <laughs> what about you, Yee? I told y'all already, Miss Info. I, you know what? I haven't heard too many people say that I remind them of anybody. That is much. not I'm true. I'm going to tell you, when I, when I was in high school, people used to say I look like Paula Abdul. Nobody ever said that. Listen, <laughs> nobody said that. I nobody promise. Ever, damn, lie. But I went, I, went to, I went to a very white... <laughs> nobody ever said that. Yeah, nobody that said that. I went to happened. a... Nope. Can I finish? Never, no, that never I happened. Went to a, nope. I went to a very white high school in Brooklyn, though. <laughs> nope. And nobody, I was like, don't believe Paula me. Abdul. No, nobody... Play the Joe Coy drop, please. You're a liar. Yeah, you're, you're a liar. A liar. <laughs> You've always been a liar. Okay, you don't dance. There's no. What about you, says Gee, Paul? What about Abdul? Paul Abdul? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea, but it would be the white kids I went to school with. So no. maybe it's because she had a little color, and they would be like, "You look like Paula Abdul," and I'm like, "Really? No one else has said that in my neighborhood." Now I've never met Angela Angela Lee, but you get mistaken for her all the time. <laughs> if there's an Angela Angela Lee, would you like to finally step up and tell us who you are? Do you there's a lot of Angela, Angela Lee? Lees, and I also get mistaken for Angela Lee. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if you get mistaken for Paul Abdul, I get mistaken for Denzel Washington. Now let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? Yes, what's good, MV? This is London Lennox. You know Harlem rock star. Good morning. Harlem rock star. What up? Yes, listen, people tell me this all the time, and I'm not even dragging it, that I look like young M.A. My, my grandmother even... You and Envy. Well, I would like to say, I would like to go on the record as saying all black people don't look alike and all studs don't look alike. <laughs> Shut up, man. Now, What's your Instagram? Harlem I want to see this. Harlem no, Rockstar, Harlem Rockstar called up. What's up? Now, Harlem Rockstar is popping after she called up for Ask Yee. I saw a lot of people sliding in her DMs no. and trying to holler no, at her was, on Instagram. Yo, I, you know what? I appreciate that, Yee. Thank you. I, Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yeah, but I you do you... see the I do see the a little bit of young MA when you got the band the red bandana on, but y'all don't really look alike. Cause young MA and me look like I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. So, all, you and young MA. What's, the, yeah. what's mm -hmm. the AJ mean again? It's a light skin thing. Aggressive jaws. Aggressive jaws. Aggressive Listen, jaws. That's what you said. Harlem Rockstar, tell me something. All, all them right, people all, all them people that sliding up in your DM, you get some <laughs> something? <laughs> <laughs> man, listen, nah, I ain't getting nothing, man. Nah, I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm taking Yee's advice. I'm taking it slow. I'm focusing on me. True, true. Right. That's you, it. All right. You lying. I'm going to check in on you. you I'm going to check in on you because I follow you now, too, so I'm going to keep up with you. Yeah, please do, Yee, because I got to tell you something, too. Okay. Uh-oh. It sounds like she want to get turned out. <laughs> Turn ye out, Harlem Rockstar. Telling you right now. When it's stuck from Harlem, which in your ear, tell it, say they want to tell you something. <laughs> it's over. Life about to change, baby. <laughs> you going to go buy all the sweatsuits and jeans shorts you possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> What's the moral of the story, you idiots?
The moral of the story is, man, please, when I'm walking through the airport, stop asking me when we doing another best, man. You know what I'm oh, saying? When I'm walking through the airport, stop making red Hyundai jokes. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. Like, you know, and, and don't and don't disrespect Mars Chestnut when you see him walking through the airport and tell him you love him on the Breakfast Club. You know what I mean? That's just not what's up. You know, walking up to Mars Chestnut with my books, black privilege and shook one, asking him to autograph him. That's disrespectful. All black people don't look alike. That's the moral no, of the story. Nobody mistakes you for, for Mars Chestnut, bro. 